All right, Android lovers, what's going on? This is Clayton with Android Authority. Now, today I'm going to show you the Apex Home Replacement Launcher. I'm going to be showing you version 1.0.5 as well as the Pro Key Beta version that's available for testing. Now, a lot of you may know that this requires Android 4.0.0 at least or up because this is an ice cream sandwich home replacement launcher. So any of your devices running custom ROMs with ice cream sandwich uh, ROMs on there can get this launcher and you Galaxy Nexus owners can as well. So first off, I'll just take you to the Apex settings where we'll go over some of the basic things having to do with the Apex launcher. Here we have our home screen, drawer, dock, folder, behavior, advanced, backup and restore, and then our about and our restart Apex launcher. So I'll just uh, walk you through some of the simple stuff first. I'll actually go into the About Apex Launcher and show you that I'm running the Apex Launcher version 1.0.0 beta. Now this is basically the same as the 1.0.5 except for it has a few added functionalities, functionalities, excuse me, which I'll go over. So going back, I have the home screen settings. You can see that we can choose our number of screens and go all the way up to nine. I have mine at five because I won't need that many. We have our default screen that we can set. Out of nine, we choose which one we actually want to be our home screen. We can disable the grid size, so you can kind of just put a uh, icon anywhere. We have our number of portrait grid and our number of landscape grid icons. So we have uh, the functionality to put as many icons as up to seven here, and then as many as up to seven there. And so that, that leaves for a lot of uh, a squishing, but if you have your pixel density changed, it will look very nice. Anyways, we have our uh, horizontal, horizontal margin, which you have options to set all the way from none to large. I have mine at medium, same with vertical margin. Our preview animation. Here we have our infinite scrolling option, which I'll show you right now. As I go all the way over through here, it just keeps going, and it restarts at the right when I scroll all the way to the left. So you can see my little uh, my tracker right there goes all the way over. Anyways, back to Apex settings and our home screen settings. We have our elastic scrolling, which gives a bounce effect like a rubber band when you're scrolling through. And our minimum scrolling time can be changed. We have all sorts of transition effects. Now, a lot of these are included with the Apex Pro Beta and not the version 1.0.5, but a lot of them are. So a lot of the cool ones, I'll just show you the cross because it's one of my favorites. And you just swipe like this, and it brings up your other apps in a cross fashion, just kind of on a pivot right there, 360 degrees with all your apps. So that's very cool. I like that a lot. We will go back into our Apex settings. And there's just a lot of cool transitions. Um, you have your tablet with the glass windows, kind of like on a Galaxy tab or things like that. Your card stack, which is the stock Galaxy Nexus transition. Cube in, cube out, accordion, overlap, wheel. I'll just show you wheel for a second, and then we'll get on with the review. And this kind of just brings it in like it's on a pinwheel. Just like that. Anyways, the Galaxy Nexus is powerful enough that it can uh, it can properly render all those transitions in a correct time. But if you have a phone with maybe a smaller processor, you might not want to do some of these crazy transitions. I, in fact, like to just keep it on the tablet. Um, anyways, you can show the desktop indicator, which is what I was pointing out when I was scrolling through. It just shows you which home screen you're on. Um, home screen indicator position is always on auto, on mine at least. You can hide your notification bar, shadows, and icon labels. Kind of cool for some. Anyways, to our drawer settings, we can show uh, hidden app icons because we can disable apps with ice cream sandwich. Um, apps sorting are in title. They're sorted by title. We have our drawer style, <coughs> excuse me, which is how you would scroll through your drawer. We have our drawer background transparency, meaning we can go all the way down to uh, zero. I'll set it at 48 just for the heck of it for a second here and show you what it would look like. Now you can see in the background I have my uh, my wallpaper still there instead of all this black stuff. So that's pretty cool. You can set it all the way down to zero so you have a pure transparent uh, app drawer like that. Anyways, I'll go back to my Apex settings. We can have infinite scrolling on the drawer and we can uh, have a primary and secondary apps tab and the secondary apps is sort of like sense where it shows you which apps you have downloaded as well as hide app labels hide widget labels label, labels excuse me and all sorts of cool stuff like that 
we have our uh, doc settings where we can choose our number of doc pages and number of doc icons and as well as infinite scrolling and just the same thing as, as a lot of the uh, home screen options like that so that's what this would look like is you can go through like this and have multiple ones of those so back to our apex settings we have our folder settings which I uh, will show you super quick that I have square folders like that with sort of a fan preview so it's not the stock ice cream sandwich look and feel to that I will show you how I got that right now going to folder settings you can go to folder preview and select stack fan grid or the iOS style I like fan and then you can choose the folder background and I chose square you can also choose iOS ring or none or a custom one that you can choose from your gallery but I like the square hidden folder name and hidden icon name basically you have your behavior settings which is gesture support pinch in swipe up swipe down two finger swipe two finger swipe down desktop double tap desktop long press jar button feedback all sorts of different stuff you can do with that anyways you have your advanced settings which allows you to um, choose SMS count unread SMS count unread miss I mean excuse me miss call count unread Gmail count so a lot of cool stuff like that as you can see here it is a uh, letting me know that I have a text and if I were to have a missed call it would display that here and if I were to have a missed Gmail or not a missed but an unread Gmail it would be right here anyways going back to the Apex settings we have our backup and restore options to restore our uh, profiles on the Apex launcher and we have our about Apex launcher pro now uh, you can see here that we can check out a lot of the features uh, within the Apex Launcher Pro. The, this is basically just a, a quick overview of what you have with the Pro license version. Here's a small demo of what our unread count would look like and uh, all of our gestures. Of course we can pinch in sort of like sense to show our preview and we also can have one by one widgets here in the dock bar. You see I have my beautiful widget for weather. This is what it would look like if it was out. You just grab it, drag it down to the dock bar and there it is. I have uh, another icon in there, but a lot of the widgets are uh, uh, poorly formatted when you were to put them in the dock bar. So for example, I will go here and I will choose a beautiful widget and I will do a toggle widget, make it for Wi-Fi for the heck of it. And as you see here, I would bring it down and then we sort of have just a little cutoff like that. But mind you, this is the beta version, so I'm assuming that that's going to be fixed and we possibly will see uh, even larger widgets available for the dock bar such as a 4x4, four 4x1, four, four excuse me, widget down there, and that would be pretty cool. So anyways, guys, that was the Apex Launcher. Go ahead and check it out today. You can get it from the Play Store, or a lot of custom ROMs come with it already. Also, to get your free evaluation version of the beta Apex Launcher, you would go to your Apex settings, then you would go to your About Apex Launcher, it might not say Pro at this time, and you can check automatically check for updates and you will want to press beta version because if you're choosing the stable version it will not give you the option of testing the new beta and then you can check for an update now and it will tell you that you have the most up-to-date but you can choose the evaluation version for the beta pro now anyways guys uh, I hope you like the review uh, keep checking androidauthority.com and Android Authority's YouTube channel for more app reviews and ROM reviews and everything of the sort so catch you later guys